Um, hi guys, uh, George here, and um, what I'm going to show you today is a bit of a tutorial about how to create a diplomacy map. Now there are a lot of um, uh, freeware and open source software out there that allow you to um, create a diplomacy map, um, but you can do it right in Word, so uh, why not do it in, in Word and maybe we can learn a, a couple of things about how to use uh, Word and also um, uh, some uh, Windows 10 shortcuts. All right, so um, what is diplomacy to begin with? Diplomacy is a, is a, 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 ma uh, a game actually about um, playing a diplomat and um, it's more or less about uh, pre-war, World War I Europe. So there's no dice involved, but there, uh, but what is involved is negotiating with uh, your opponents and times being deceiving times being cunning um, so each player gives an order to uh, some fleets and some armies and depending on how those uh, you write those orders and your opponents write those orders there's an adjudicator um, and uh, there is uh, there is uh, there's an outcome and the outcome in this case uh, we're playing through Facebook and um, I'll tell you one thing, this is the, the game that I detest the most. I detest it because of the lying. Um, I can understand friends getting together and playing a dice game and perhaps the dice doesn't roll your way or you haven't selected the, uh, the, best, uh, um, um, the best strategy. Uh, however, the concept of lying or the idea of lying to, 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 to your colleague or to your friend, it's something that I really detest a lot. Um, at the same time, I wanted to make my friend Tom happy because he likes adjudicating these games, so I uh, instigated this game, unfortunately. Anyway, uh, no regrets, no regrets. Let's take a look and see how the map is done. So the game is played through Facebook, so we'll go to the Facebook page, and here you can see Tom has posted the orders and the placements, and I believe Italy just lost an army. So here are the orders and the outcome. For example, Austria-Hungary, which is on the map, the area here, um, gave some orders, and here are the outcomes. Uh, the, he sent an army from Vienna, Vienna to TYR. TYR is, 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 I believe Tyrolia, and did he succeed? No, there was a bounce. So these were the orders, and here's the outcome. So the outcome is, where do we see? This is a bit, um, this is a bit, a bit weird. Orders, France, Germany, Italy, Russia, Turkey, England, England, France. Oh, well, I guess uh, we're going to have to figure it out. Oh, here they are, placements. I wish that could be bold, but Facebook does not succeed uh, in doing bold. So placements, we're going to start with Austria-Hungary. Austria they have an army in Vienna, Budapest, and Troy. Now, what I do here is... I hold down the Windows key and then the left arrow. Now I have a reference on that board and then click on the blue uh, here in, in Windows MS Word and then hold down the Windows key and right arrow and click here to get that window and then click down here. Now we know that Austria-Hungary has an army in Vienna, in Budapest, and try. Put this guy in the Budapest, in the C4, and a fleet in Albania. Hmm, looks like the um, Austrian-Hungarian uh, player decided to move west. Now England. England, that, that's me by the way, 
jolly old England. I got bounced in the English Channel, much to the disappointment of the French player, but uh, it's just a game, guys. And then, instead of trying to take Norway, I moved my fleet into the North Atlantic. Good job, George. Hmm. Oh, well, we'll see where that takes us. And uh, France. France has an army in Holland. I believe it, he's already... No, he's not. Let's see, Holland. What happened to this guy? Put him in the, in the sea. He has an army in Holland. Remarkable. And in Burgundy... And Gascony. So let's. Uh, oop! He moved, I guess, from Spain back to to here. Interesting. And he has a fleet in Brest. That's the fleet in Brest, and in Spain, southern coast. So he's keeping. These fleets were, I guess, they're supposed to be. We'll see. Uh, France, Germany. So we have a army in Kiel. There's Kiel, that's good. An army in Denmark. An army in Denmark, a fleet in Ska, a fleet in Berlin. Let's see, three armies here. Uh, Denmark, Berlin, and Kiel. Denmark, Kiel. Denmark, Kiel, and Berlin. I don't think you can have a... So that's a mistake. You can't have an army and a fleet in the same place. And I believe the German army is in Munich. Not in Berlin. Okay, there you go. Back there you go. Sounds good to me. So that was Germany. Italy. Has an army in Tyr, Air, Tyroli, and Venice. And we treated something. Ah, delete. He was eliminated. And now, Nap, Napoli, a fleet in Napoli, and a fleet in the Ionian. Really weird. Russia, he has an army in Sil, Sil, ooh, advance there, an army in Sweden, and the Ukraine. Right. And a fleet in Barretts. Gulf of something. And Romania. And where's Turkey? Turkey. Looks like he advanced into the Aegean. Hmm. 
Yeah. Where were the placements for Turkey? Didn't make any, so let's interpret that. Bulgaria supports Romania. That's great. Uh, Ankara uh, to S S my I. No, Ankara. Yep, to S my Y, S my Y. He moves there. Constantinople was supporting the fleet to Aegean, and this guy goes to the Aegean. Uh, I think that's all the moves that we have. Let's expand the map. So we have what seems to be a war going on between Russia and Germany. Um, something really strange is going on with with France. I'm really not sure. England seems to want to get a foothold on the continent, but doesn't know where exactly to land. And uh, something strange is going on with the Germany. He's retreating from one flank and advancing from the other. Hmm. Austria-Hungary seems to be holding some ground, but he's also uh, in a position where two are against one. We'll see. Now, the, 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 we need to communicate this map to the players. Now, you see I, I saved it as 20, 20, 02, 22, fall 1901. This is spring in 1902. Then spring movement, basically, you try to position uh, your armies and fleets in supply centers where you can get um, uh, some builds. Uh, and uh, at the same token, uh, what you can do is get some great alliances. Uh, well, now, what we should do is do a file save as. And um, let's browse. Here is... Um, uh, where I save my diplomacy maps. So now we are going to name this map first with the year, month, um, day where we're playing it. And fall turns into spring 1902. So there's only two turns. Fall of the same year and spring of the same year. And then the fall is when you get to build. 1902. Save. Now the question remains, how do I get it to post into Facebook? So what I do is I minimize the map so where I can see the entire map. Just by clicking here. Let's go to 100%. 100% looks good. Yep. Click somewhere where you don't see the edit marks. And now you're going to press the Windows key, the Shift, and the S. And now that allows you to get a screen capture of the map. It, it uh, saves it in your clipboard. Boom. Now you go to the Facebook page and you post something sweet. Thursday's game uh, spring 1902. Hey buddies. If you see any corrections that need to be done, comma, please comment here. And now I'm going to press Control V. There goes the map. And we have successfully completed a map, I hope. There it is. There it goes. There it goes, great post. Let's maximize on this. There you go. Now, this is by means, by no means a, 
by no means a tutorial about how to play diplomacy, it's about how to use Word to create a diplomacy map and share it with your friends on, in this case I did it in Tom's Diplomacy Game, which is a Facebook game, uh, page. I would encourage all my female friends to play diplomacy because, because it's a game of skill, it's a game of cunning, it's a game of, of deception, it's great if you're devious. So if you enjoy it, uh, thumbs up below and uh, feel free to check out Tom's Diplomacy Game on Facebook. By uh, uh, no means is he a Russian spy, far from it. I hope you liked the video, take care, and until next time. Now let's turn off this game, uh, this video.